Seven Wonders of Russia. Unlike the world list of Seven Wonders, which includes only architectural monuments, most of the places in the Russian rating were taken by natural attractions. Let's see what unique places of our country are included in this famous list and let's figure out how to visit them. Lake Baikal what is the list of seven natural wonders of Russia without Baikal? Lake Baikal is invariable one of the most unique natural attractions in the world, and it's considered one of the symbols of our country. By the way, Baikal is also included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. About one and a half million tourists come to see the lake every year. Why do I need to go on a trip to Lake Baikal at least once in my life? First of all, because of its natural uniqueness. It's the deepest lake in the world, with the largest supply of the purest fresh water and a unique ecosystem. In addition to nature, Baikal is one of the most famous places of power in our country. There are dozens of sacred places for shamans and Buddhists along the shores of the lake. In the vicinity of Lake Baikal, you can see a unique symbiosis of cultures and religions. From the monuments of the Tatar Mongolian Empire and the villages of old believers to the mysterious shamanic caves and the main Buddhist Datsun of Russia. And of course, active outdoor recreation, exciting ethnographic excursions and even ecotourism with the observation of rare local animals are waiting for you on Lake Baikal. in Kamchatka. Kamchatka is deservedly included not only in the list of seven natural wonders of Russia, but also in the list of UNESCO sites. However, due to the remoteness of the region, only about 200,000 tourists come here every year. 10% of them are foreign citizens. Every year this figure is growing at the impressive pace. So, have time to go to Kamchatka before it becomes a real tourist mecca. It's worth noting that only a small, specially protected part of the peninsula, the Valley of Geysers, belongs to the Seven Wonders of Russia. This is the world's largest geyser field, with more than a hundred thermal springs and several dozen large geysers. Getting here is not so easy. Firstly, you can only get to the valley by helicopter. Secondly, the number of tourists is strictly limited and you need to get a special permit before traveling. However, all these difficulties are fully justified by the unique nature of the valley. Ilbras was included in the rating of the Seven Wonders of Russia not by chance. In addition to the unique nature and excellent sky resorts in the Ilbras region, it's also the highest mountain in Europe. It's also included in the list of seven peaks of the world, one of the highest on each continent. That's why climbers and mountain tourists from all over the world come to conquer Ilbras. Every year, about 2,000 climbing groups rush to its top. Climbing Ilbras is considered
video is not so difficult and quite suitable for beginners. First of all, due to the fact that it's not necessary to have advanced skills in mountaineering, you can learn how to handle the necessary equipment on the sport. However, don't think that you'll be able to climb 5,642 meters without proper physical training. In addition, don't neglect proper acclimatization and well-chosen route for climbing. Weathering Pillars in Kome Weathering Pillars in Kome are the final natural attractions that got into the final of the project Seven Wonders of Russia. This geological monument of nature is located in the mountains of the northern Urals on a plateau with a mysterious name Manpapyuner. From the language of Mansi people, its name translates as Small Mountain of Idols. According to local beliefs, seven idols standing on a plateau and stretching to the height of ten-story houses are robbers turned into stones. Therefore, the place is considered mystical and sacred by local peoples. Despite the fact that weathering pillars are included not only in the Russian rating of natural wonders, but also in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, only a few hundred people visit this place every year. The main problem lies, of course, in the complex logistics. The Manpipuner Plateau is located on the territory of the Picora Illich Reserve, in the most inaccessible part of it. In the warmer months, you can only get here by helicopter. Kugan and the Motherland. Well, now the turn of man-made monument from the list of seven wonders of the world of Russia. Surprisingly, they are all located in the European part of the country. And of course, the first of them and the largest monument of Russia and Europe is the Motherland on Mamayev Kogan in Volgograd. Since its installation in 1967, and for 22 years it has been considered the tallest statue in the world. For this, the monument was entered into the Guinness Book of Records. The total height of the statue is 85 meters. The figure itself stretched for 50 meters. Her hand sewed up another 20 meters. The full length of the sword, with the motherland raised above her head, is 33 meters and its weight is 14 tons. The weight of the rest of sculpture is about 8000 tons. For stability, it's installed in a pedestal with a height of 16 meters. Moreover, only 2 meters rise above the surface of the earth, the rest is buried.
St. Basil's Cathedral St. Basil's Cathedral is one of the most recognizable monuments of Moscow along with the Kremlin. It also belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. From this it becomes clear why the temple was among the main wonders of Russia. However, the name St. Basil's Cathedral is colloquial. Officially, it's called the Cathedral of the Intercession of the Most Holy Theoticus. Now it belongs to the State Historical Museum. The construction of the temple began in 1555 during the reign of Ivan the Terrible. At that time, churches were erected to commemorate victories over enemies and successful military campaigns. This tradition has not bypassed St. Basil's Cathedral either. Ivan the Terrible ordered the construction of a new church in honor of the successful annexation of the Kazan Khanate to Russia. Later, the temple was repeatedly rebuilt and modified. In its modern form, the cathedral includes 11 churches named after Orthodox saints. Well, to learn more about the history of the construction of one of the main Russian attractions, you should just go there on an excursion. Peterhof Fountains The project Seven Wonders of Russia didn't ignore the second capital of the country, St. Petersburg. The Peterhof Palace and Park Ensemble was included in the list of unique places. By the way, Peterhof is also among the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Well, it's famous all over the world not only for its palaces and parks, but first of all for the largest fountain system, 147 operating objects. The construction of Peterhof was started in 1712 during the reign of Peter I. When erecting a new summer residence, the emperor dreamed of surprising the silence and splendor and decoration. For several centuries, Peterhof was completed and updated new parks, buildings and fountains were added to it. Russia.